Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 6, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to analyze some of the sea ice impacts that have occurred as warmer than normal temperatures have lifted up off of Europe, the Barents Sea, and Siberia to invade the high Arctic region. We can see these warmer than normal temperatures in this anomaly map provided by Climate Reanalyzer. And if you look closely, you can see that temperatures at the surface over the high Arctic region are ranging between about one and four to five degrees Celsius above normal over Arctic Ocean zones. These temperatures are impressive for Arctic summer due to the fact that during the summertime temperatures tend to moderate as most of the energy goes to melting ice and we tend to see much warmer than normal temperatures during winter as a result of human-caused climate change based polar amplification which is a main impact of high levels of fossil fuel burning. We also note that temperatures above the 80 degree north latitude line have drifted into warmer to rather warmer than normal readings for this time of year. Earlier this year, clouds in the high Arctic helped keep it cooler, but a high pressure system has developed. Warmer than normal temperatures have emerged, and this is starting to have an impact at the surface on sea ice. In this Earth Null School graphic, we see some of these warm winds circulating in from the Laptev Sea. During earlier days, warm winds have run off the Barents Sea. And before I show you the sea ice, I want to show you sea surface temperature anomalies in the region, which are quite extensive. This is particularly striking in comparison with past days as we see temperatures in the lab have really heating up while temperatures in the Barents are also starting to warm considerably compared to typical values for this time of year. A warm pool in the Chukchi has also remained with warmer than normal surface waters beginning to extend out into the Beaufort Sea. The region that we're going to be focusing on here though is north of Greenland and, and what we've seen is a, is a bit of lifting of ice off of the northern coast of Greenland. I'm going to go ahead and run an animation for you based on this NASA satellite imagery starting on July 27th and ending today. I'm going to go ahead and push play and describe the features that we see. So as the warm winds have funneled in, you'll note that sea ice has tended to disperse and lift away from the coast of Greenland. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, stop the frames at August 5th. So here we see thinning sea ice in a zone north of Greenland and north of Svalbard with disperse ice cutting through a bit of a wedge here. And as we advance to August 6th, you notice this, this lifting away from the coast of Greenland. Now the, the polynia that's emerged, or the opening, I wouldn't call it a polynia because it, it opens out into the Beauforts, uh, in, I'm sorry, into the Barents Sea and the Greenland Strait. This open water area is about 10 miles wide while movement to the north is, is quite considerable over the three-day time period. Zooming in, you can see how much the ice has begun to disperse here. And you can see open water areas in through the gaps in the sea ice, along with chunks of ice that have broken up. This is, is pretty intense melt, a pretty intense melt signal for this region of the Arctic, which typically sees much healthier ice but has not as atmosphere has not 
so much recently as atmospheric carbon levels have increased due to fossil fuel burning. And this zone of the Arctic is, is as you can see, edging in rather close to the pole. So, so, so a bit of a concerning signal here as, as the ice edge moves away from the Svalbard zone and the northern Bof excuse me, in the northern Barents Sea zone toward the pole with a lot of bluing occurring in the Arctic sea ice in this region. So this is a concerning signal, particularly if we get a continued lift of ice away from Greenland and a continued thinning of ice in the high Arctic. So just an update for on Arctic sea ice. Arctic sea ice is lifting away from the coast of Greenland and thinning in one, what is typically one of the most resilient sections of sea ice. So something to keep an eye on as we progress through the coming days. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.